role um, within the academy, the Salisbury Football Academy, um, is based as head of education that I am able to adapt all education purposes to, to all individuals that are coming through the door, uh, no matter of experience or GCSE requirements. The idea is, is that all um, education is, is kind of funded through that um, as part of a football and sports specific qualification. Um, so the qualifications throughout um, level from sorry getting from level one up to level three. So the level one qualifications is more aimed at work experience and football coaching. So kind of part of that coaching role uh, up to the level three qualification that is relevant to or equivalent to three A levels and it's very more scientific. It goes into a little bit more about nutrition, fitness testing, um, and it kind of really gears people to go on to further education or higher education within universities as well. I think that's one of our main strengths within the academy is that because we are deemed as a college but we're not a mainstream college we're able to get to know every single individual so if we have an individual that's really interested in sports nutrition for example and um, they can work with the first team help with the first team kind of nutrition what's good what's bad when to eat when not to eat if we've got a Tuesday night game for example and it's very important to kind of get our nutrition in beforehand and um, we also then might have somebody that's interested in sports analysis or sports physiotherapy we're a very big believer of if you want to do something as part of your career, then why not start doing it now as part of your work experience? So we've got all the facilities to run it as part of a football. So if it's not just football that you're interested in, um, the, the, the qualifications are arranged around lots of different sports, but because we're in a football stadium, we're able to kind of adapt a little bit more for footballers. So if it's physiotherapy or sports massage, you're able to then kind of use the athletes that we've got at hand, as well as the kind of people within the academies as well. Um, Education-wise, we're in a very small group as well. So we, we're only catered for, for kind of 20 per year, so we've only got a small cohort, so again, me as a tutor, I'm able to kind of get to know everybody's strengths and areas for improvement, so if you have a statement, for example, there's something that we can kind of help with, um, or anything else that's kind of individual learners' needs, if you sit towards the front or towards the back, you, you're better in group discussions, you'd rather kind of play rather than just sit and kind of listen to it, then it's something that we can kind of definitely adapt to for, for all learners. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, you know, obviously we've we've you know the the, the, the side will play regular football. Um, we have an under 23s. Three of the team from this year have already gone from the academy into the under 23s, which is fantastic, um, and played very well, by the way. Um, and then also, you know, what we're looking to do is progress them through the system, you know, and eventually get them in the first team. So there's certainly a pathway if the player is good enough. Well, the course is primarily um, a, an educational course um, to do with coaching and sport in general. Um, it's a BTEC, uh, level two, moving on to a level three in the second year. There's training, there's, uh, you know, they'll train four, four out of the five days. And our grades are very, very good. They're comparative with, uh, with all the local colleges. So um, you know, the education is very, very important and I understand that more than anybody. Um, so the kids primary look to you know obviously the, the football and the training and that's really good because we've got top class coaches and then obviously from the uh, the other side I've got to look at it that also you know we need to deliver exceptional educational experience as well so I think we managed to do both. Yes we've got our own mini bus so um, you know at, at this stage people have picked up um, and obviously it's all free so um, yeah I mean it's, it's we've got we've got a designated driver who goes and uh, I think it takes him about an hour and a half every morning to go and pick everybody up and you know take them to pick them up from various places and take them either to the club or to the training ground, which is great. So um, yeah, I mean it's another real bonus for for the students. <laughs>